Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kasim, and today I'm going to be reviewing for you all the iPhone MagSafe Leather Wallet. Now initially, I was actually really hesitant to buy this because I saw some initial reviews and saw that the wallet was easily falling off. Didn't really stick well to the back, but you know, I've been on a search to actually find this and luckily I found one and I've got to say, I really love it. This is a great wallet for some people. The reason I say some people is that if you're somebody who carries around only like a debit card, a credit card, and your driver's license, well, you're gonna be totally fine with this. But if you're somebody who's got lots of cards to carry around and you are used to using a regular wallet, a folding one, then this is not gonna be the right wallet for you. So one of the first things I noticed about this wallet is the fact that the leather is really fine. The stitching is beautifully done and this is good quality leather. I really love leather products and especially the fact that how they patina over time, which I'm actually gonna to explain to you guys in a little bit. So this wallet has the magnets built into the backside. So any phone that you're using, whether that's the mini, pro, pro max, any of the 12 lineups, this is going to snap on to the back perfectly fine. Now, after I snapped this onto my phone, one of the first things I noticed is how nicely it fills in the back. So the phones of the 12 lineup all have those squared edges and that flat back, right? But when you snap this wallet onto the back, it kind of fills in that empty spot. So it kind of gives you a curve and you have the squared comfortable design of the phone itself. It just kind of feels really nice. Now what's nice is on the back side you have this opening. So when you actually go to take your cards out, you can just kind of slide your finger and hold the front of the wallet and your cards will slide out perfectly fine. But one quick tip for you guys, the card that you do use most often, I would say keep it at the back because that's the first one that you're going to be able to slide out very easily. So if you've got a card that you're using on a daily basis that you want to rock with this case, then I suggest you drop that one at the back of the wallet. So you know how I mentioned if you have three cards, this is great. You might be somebody that has lots of loyalty cards. Now, if you are that kind of person and you are hesitating from buying this simply because you want to have your loyalty cards with you, there's a really good app that has loyalty cards for all major brands built in. So you can just put in your information for those loyalty cards and you'll have it accessible in the app. I'll link this app down below. It's actually called Stow Card and it's really useful. I've got loyalty cards and I've got all mine built into that app. Now, initially when I saw the reviews of this wallet, I was really hesitant because I thought this would easily slide off. Now, after actually owning it, it's been a great experience. Um, I noticed that with my traditional wallet, I would always cup it inside of my hand and slide it into my pocket. And I'm doing the same thing with this wallet attached to the back of my phone. So, you know, if you are sliding in your phone into your pocket with this hitting the ridge of the pocket, then yes, this will fall off. But if you kind of cup the phone in your hand and make sure it gets securely into your pocket, you're not gonna have any problem. I do this with my traditional wallet just to make sure I get it in my pocket properly and I do the same thing here with this one. Now, one thing I really loved about this wallet is the fact that if you put your phone with the screen side facing your leg into your pocket, then this is attached with the magnet to the backside. So when you're at a store and you need to pay for something, you can kind of just reach into your pocket, slide off the wallet, bring it out, take out your card, pay with it, and then slide it back into your pocket and it'll snap into place. That was something really convenient. And when you do take this on and off from the phone, it gives you a slight haptic feedback. So your phone will very subtly vibrate to let you know that the wallet has been put on or taken off. So that's nice. You'll make sure that the wallet is on the phone or off of it and you'll know. Now, another cool thing about this wallet that I was actually surprised with. So I have the habit of forgetting my wallet. And that's simply me just forgetting to put it into my pocket and take it with me. But since I've been using this, I have it on my phone all the time. Now, after a couple of days, my brain has kind of gotten used to the fact that it's always on my phone. So when I'm leaving the house and it's not on the phone, because I do take this off. So when I come back home, I take it off, put it in a drawer and stow it away. And that's 
one of the things I really like. It's nice and slim. You just take it off, put it away, and I'll use my phone at the house. But when I do go out and the wallet is not stuck on my phone, it reminds me that I've got to go grab my wallet. So I also mentioned earlier that I love leather. I've got belts, shoes, and one of the things I love about leather is patina. So patina is this process that leather is skin, essentially, right? It's a natural product. And whenever you have real authentic leather, it tends to patina over time. So our fingers carry oil. We might be using lotion. So as you touch this, as you handle this wallet or anything that's leather for that matter, then what happens is that the leather tends to fade over time and changes color. Now, if you have something that's of black leather, then you're not going to notice this as much, but the lighter the shade of the leather, you're going to notice the patina over time. And that's one of the things I love. It kind of makes something your own. If you look at my belt, for example, you'll notice that certain parts of the brown are now darker. That's because I've had this belt for a long time. And to me personally, you know, this is just a personal thing. I really love the patina on leather. It makes a product your own over time. I've used iPhone leather cases in the past and they also do the same. So if you are going with a lighter shade like this one and the lighter ones, then you're going to notice the patina grow over time. Now, if you don't like that, then that is probably something to consider and not buy this wallet. Now, another thing that I tested out is to see if the MagSafe charger would be able to actually charge through the wallet. Now, if you have this wallet on the back of your phone, whether you have a leather case on it or you're just using the bare phone itself, then it's not going to charge with this wallet on. And one nice thing is that the MagSafe charger didn't render my credit cards useless. So I actually tried putting the charger up against the front here, up against the back here, just to kind of test it out. And then I went out and actually tried to use my credit card and it worked perfectly fine. So if that's something that you are personally worried about, whether the magnets of the charger or the magnets inside this case are going to render your cards useless, well, don't worry about that. Overall, I've got to say I was pleasantly surprised as to how much I love this wallet case. I'm definitely going to be keeping this. And, you know, for the purpose of this video, I actually also got a leather case just to kind of test it out how it works with the phone. But you guys know if you're familiar with me and my channel, you guys know I don't really use a phone with the case. So I'm just going to be throwing this on to the bare back of my phone. I love the fact that when I go out, if it's not on my phone, I know I'm missing my wallet. And when I come back home, I can just take it off, put it in my drawer and grab it whenever I leave again. So if you guys are on the fence, hopefully all my information, all my insight has helped you out as to whether you should buy this wallet. It's really fine leather. The stitching is done nice. And over time, the patina is going to give this wallet a personal look for yourself. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you found my insight helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below with anything that you'd like to say and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos. Take care of yourselves and I will see you all in the next video.